On behalf of ComEd, I want to tell you that I am sorry for that conduct. It violated a trust with you. A hearing that began with an apology. There are no excuses for our conduct, and I will offer none today. Quickly became an argument from the CEO of ComEd. I don't agree with all of the assertions that have been made. Joe Dominguez says his company, facing federal bribery charges for its alleged dealings with House Speaker Michael Madigan and his political operation, agreed to pay a fine and help prosecutors, but he says that doesn't equal a conviction. Deferred prosecution agreement is not a criminal conviction of ComEd. It is, as the name implies, an agreement that defers and ultimately avoids any prosecution provided that ComEd meets the conditions of the agreement. The hearing comes one day after ComEd made its first appearance in court facing a new class action consumer fraud lawsuit seeking $150 million in reimbursements for consumers. As part of the agreement with prosecutors, ComEd agreed to pay a $200 million fine. Dominguez argued that the Deferred Prosecution Agreement, or DPA, does not allege that the company gained beneficial legislation as a result of the alleged wheeling and dealing with Madigan. Nowhere in the DPA is there any allegation or inference that the smart grid law was bad policy or that ComEd's investments did not produce value to customers. The company hired a kind of internal watchdog, a new compliance officer, to ensure the corrupt practices are not repeated. Really, my sole responsibility uh, as directed by Exelon CEO and our board is to fix it. If the company were to meet the government requirements, it would have to reimburse consumers for any profits made in the scheme. But the sprawling corruption investigation could spur Springfield to pass new ethics reforms. We have to address this. There's just no doubt. I think there's cynicism that abounds uh, among voters, and rightfully so, when you hear about what Commonwealth Edison did and what anybody that was engaged in it may have done. And House Speaker Michael Madigan has not been charged with any crime, and a spokesperson said he's done nothing wrong, and they maintain that he is willing to cooperate with investigators.